everybody. Uh, Barry with Christensen Transportation. We're the trucker's truck and safety takes priority. Um, so uh, today's video is at a request by one of our long-term drivers. Uh, I think he's been here just celebrated 18 years with Christensen and he came in the other day and he had this, you know, I don't say depressed, but you know, forlorn look on his face and said, what, what's going on? And he goes, what has happened to our drivers? He goes, they don't, they don't understand the family atmosphere, the togetherness, the camaraderie, the, hey, I need help. Okay, I'll help you and you help me and all that good stuff. He goes, you know, I walk by drivers and they've got a, they're, they're in a Christensen truck and they're out and I walk by and say hi and they just ignore me. And um, he was depressed over it because, uh, you know, we've got a lot of long-term people um, and, much like in the office with me, um, you know, this is home. Um, you spend more time in that truck than you do at home. We spend more time in this building than we do at home. And, and um, we rely on each other. We rely on during good times and bad times and helping out and sticking up for each other and, and, and celebrating with each other. Um, so I, I wanted to stress that this isn't you know, this isn't a 7,000 truck company and you just want to go hide in the weeds and never be seen. This is a place that you can call home and, you know, uh, you should know that it's kind of like getting drafted for the NFL. There, you know, only so many people get to work here. we got pretty high standards and, and you're in a group. You're in a good group and, uh, you know, you need to get along. You need to talk to each other. Uh, nobody wants to show up at the terminal, walk in and go to the driver's lounge or hang out in the kitchen or, and then go back out to your truck to drive away. We, you know, this is family. Um, and I just wanted to stress that, you know, everybody that comes here, even our long-term drivers, they, 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 they greet you with open arms and you should embrace that and say, Hey, this is a different place. This is the place I want to call home. They treat me like family. I've got my friends here, my co-drivers, my co-workers. Um, we all get along. We all help each other out, you know? So, um, think about that, you know, when you're on the radio and uh, you see another Christians and truck coming by you and you yell at them, yell back, say, hey, how's it going? Where are you going? Have a good day. See you at the terminal or whatever it may be. Um, it makes life better. Uh, it makes you appreciate where you work and the people you work with. So um, thank you, Austin, for, for bringing this to my attention. Again, it's not the first time I've heard it. You know, we grow and we... We get new faces and, and, you know, we spread out and it makes it more difficult. We see that um, on the inside. We see that we've got people in, in St. Louis. We've got people in, in Nashville and Etheridge and in, in, in Springfield. And we may not have ever met them, uh, but we need to, to welcome them in and, and say, hey, welcome. Welcome. Thanks to be here and uh, call me with, if you need something and all that good stuff because this is uh, this is. The majority of our life and this is home uh, away from home um, you know it doesn't need to take place at home but it needs to be uh, a friendly good atmosphere you can go to and feel welcome and warm and, and respected so um, that's it just a little life quote lesson of the day don't answer your phone while you're driving or doing videos so thanks for being here thanks for watching and thanks for uh, all you do